So in this video, we're going to take a look at intersecting secants and tangents and what happens when they intersect outside of circle versus what happens when they intersect inside of a circle, just for two secants. Um, so we have three situations here for secants and tangents. So we have two secants on the first one, and you can see that they're, they're completely going through the circle, and that's what a secant means, is it's a line that, that goes completely through. It's not just touching to one point like a tangent, but it's going through, it's entering the circle and exiting the circle. So when this happens, we can still find the angle measure or even a missing arc angle by using this little formula. So if you remember, we have inscribed angles and those are half the angle. Well, we're still using half, but now we have to take into account that there's two arcs being created. There's a minor, a smaller arc, and kind of a more major arc. That's not really the naming of them because minor and uh, major arcs kind of mean something a little different, but we can think of it as like small and large arc. So you always do the larger minus the smaller so that you don't end up with a negative there. Um, and then you divide that in half to go to the angle. Now, if you have the angle, you can work your way out um, back to one of the arcs by kind of going backwards on this formula. So now we have a very similar idea um, for these other two, whether it's a tangent and a secant or two tangents, we're still creating two arcs for each one of these. So we still do the larger arc minus the smaller arc. And if you notice, the larger arc is always the one that's farthest away from the angle. And then the smaller arc is always the one that's kind of closer, kind of inside of here, much closer to the angle. So we always do the larger arc minus the smaller arc and divide by two. Okay, so this is if lines intersect outside the circle, we're gonna subtract the arcs. If the lines intersect inside the arc, so we have two secants coming together, there's a little X here in the, the middle, we still have two arcs being created, so but now we're going to add the arcs together and divide by two, and that'll give us the angle, and it's the angle that's that's in line with the arcs. So it's not these other angles here, the, these kind of vertical, more up and down ones, they're both vertical angles, but I mean vertical literally, like directionality vertical. So like these two, I wouldn't find these two this way, I would find the ones that are literally in line with the arcs. So this X and then this one, we do call these vertical angles when we call cos vertex. So this would also be the same measure um, for angle. All right, let's go ahead and apply this. So let's take a look at it. So here's our first problem. So we have in the figure below, the measure of angle STU is 69 degrees and the measure of arc ST is 87 degrees. Find the measure of arc PR. So let's go ahead and mark these so we can see here's my given angle and my given arc and they want me to find this other arc here. So the, in this case, which situation does this info fit in? Well, it definitely fits in two secants, right? I can see, it doesn't, they, I don't see them exiting, but I can see this X happening inside of here. There's two lines crossing inside of the circle. So now I'm gonna add the two arcs, and I divide that by two to get back to the angle. So now with this case, I'm starting with the angle, right? So I'm gonna go 69 degrees, I still have the one half. I know my larger arc, and in this case it doesn't matter which one you put as larger or smaller because you're adding. That matters a lot when you're subtracting, but when you're adding, it really doesn't matter which direction I add in. So 87 plus the X. So now I wanna get rid of this one half, because I, I, I'm dividing this whole side by half, so I'm gonna multiply by two on both sides so that I don't have this one half here anymore. So 69 times two is 138. And then when I multiply by two on this side, that eliminates the fraction. They cancel each other out. One half times two is just one. It goes away. So I have 87 plus X. So now I'm gonna take this 87 and I'm gonna subtract from both sides. And that'll tell me what's left over for this smaller arc here, which is 51 degrees. So arc PR has to be 51 degrees. All right, let's take a look at another one here. So now we have this one. So we have in the figure below, we have the measure of arc P TR is 242 degrees. So we have this arc here is 240 degrees. And they want us to find the measure of PSR. So they're only giving us one piece of information, but I'm gonna show you why they're giving us more. So this is the situation it fits in. And it really doesn't matter which situation of the three here, because you're gonna use the exact same formula for all three. You just need to know that it fits, that it, they're intersecting outside the circle, so you're going to subtract the arcs. So one thing you know that I mentioned, they're only giving us one piece of information, but really they're actually giving us two. 
because we know that all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. So if they're giving me this major arc here, and I just need to know this other little piece, I'm going to subtract from that 360 degrees because I, I understand the fact that the whole circle is 360 degrees. So 242 minus, sorry, that would be plus RP would equal 360 degrees. So if I subtract the 242, that'll tell me what's left over for just this little blue arc here, which is 118 degrees. So remember, that's not the answer. I just needed to know both arcs to fill in my little formula. So now I'm going to fill in my formula here. It's going to be x equals 1 half, the larger arc minus the smaller arc. So it's going to be 242 minus the 118. And then I'll take that and divide by 2 to know what my angle is. So the angle here has to be 62 degrees. All right, so that was using our secants and tangents that are intersecting inside and outside the circle to find either a missing arc or a missing angle. I hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.